The first prayer of purpose is you must be focused. You must be focused. Focus means having a clear visual definition. It means to have the correct center or interest or activity. It means to pay particular attention to. It's the core of something. It's the nucleus of something. It's the cornerstone of something. Therefore, I must have my focus so that my dreams will not be broken. I must have my focus so I can center in and believe that I will not be distracted by anything that the enemy has caused. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today that we need focus. We need the ability to stay zoomed in. We want to be sharp. We want to be on target. We want to know that you are the center of our life and our joy. We want to stay in alignment with our purpose. And we pray according to the word of God in Philippians 3 and 13. It says that I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, I'm forgetting those things which are behind me and I'm reaching forth for those things which are before me. And God, we thank you right now that our past will not distract us from our focus. We thank you now, God, according to the word of God, that we're aligning our will with your will. Whatever adjustments we have to make, God, to keep our focus intact, we thank you right now that you are correcting our focus. Anything that has gotten in the way of our vision, our dreams, or our goals, that's trying to take the spotlight off our purpose, we bind it in the name of Jesus. We pray according to Proverbs 16 and 3 that says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. We thank you, God, for the divine establishment of our plans, and we're keeping our eyes fixed on you. According to Ecclesiastes 9 and 10, it says, Whatever my hands find to do, I'll do it with all my might. For the realm of the dead, where are we going? Neither is working, nor planning, nor knowledge, nor wisdom. God, we stand on your promises right now that we're going to give it our best focus and our best shot with you. Understanding that you said in Matthew 6 and 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given unto us. We thank you, God, that we need, we need focus. But just as much as focus, God, we need peace. God, you have said in your word in Isaiah 26 and 3 that you'll keep us in perfect peace whose mind are stayed on you because our trust is in you. Make no mistake about it. We know, God, that our trust is in you. Some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but we real remember the name of the Lord. God, those things that have hurt us and those things which have broken our spirit and those things that try to keep us upset, the drama, the chaos, and the anxiety, and the stress, and the fear. Let us remain in focus. Now, God, teach us how to rebuke all distractions. Teach us how to come against all things that have been sent to torment us or to bring us shame and pain. We read the word of God that says in Philippians 4 and 8, it says, finally, my brothers and my sisters, whatever things are true and whatever things are noble and whatever things are right and whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report are admirable. If there'll be any virtue or if there'll be any praise, think on these things. God, keep our focus so we can think right keep our focus so we can talk right because we understand that the center of our focus is in Philippians 4 and 13 that says I can do all things through Christ that strengthens us so keep the focus so we can have the right balance we can improve our lives understanding that Satan has lost and our focus and our faith in God has become a troubleshooter to knock down every plan of the enemy to understand that God, our purpose, and you are the center of our focus. 
and we thank you right now that we're aiming for our purpose our goal is set and our eyes are fixed on our dreams thank you that we are concentrated and we are organized and it's all done in the precious matchless powerful name of Jesus